So we have a new voice actor who has jumped into this Vic Mignogna situation named Jamie, and I guess he's like a Funimation voice actor. And he quote tweeted that one original story about that one girl saying that Vic Mignogna sexually assaulted her while he was her teacher or something like that. People have found a lot of holes in that story, but we won't talk about it right now. It's been covered to death. Let's talk about this Jamie guy. He brings up cases like the Harvey Weinstein case and the Me Too movement, and he calls people who make the YouTube videos on the situation incels. Go to insult for these kick Vic people. They say we're incels, conservatives, we have no life, we live in our mom's basement. We've heard it all, man. I mean, it's just not original at this point. Ironically speaking, a lot of people like this Jamie guy say that we sit on Twitter all day and we're just waiting to make a video about something, right? Yet all they do is sit on Twitter and argue with people. I don't do that. Most other YouTubers who cover the situation don't do that either. These people spend way more time on Twitter than we do, yet they're saying that we spend too much time on Twitter and that we have no lives. He would reference things like toxic masculinity and sexual assault and denialism, stuff like this. I mean, a lot of people had a problem with what he said, and like this person right here was just like, prove he assaulted anyone and then he just says you're a rape apologist by dick bag how is this an adult like i don't understand how these people are adults it doesn't make any sense to me someone asks you to prove that he assaulted anyone even if you want to say oh the proof is within the stories that the women told why didn't you just say that but you're like oh you're a rape apologist by dick bag these people are just looking to argue with people like that is their goal one thing that he kept saying over and over again was youtube incels and nothing has been proven false like he says right here that is just a lie because so many things that Monica Real has said has been proven to be a lie. If this guy disagrees with that statement, I will happily show him everything. There's stuff on my YouTube channel. She would talk about distancing herself from him, but she obviously didn't because she was with him at cons, like sitting next to him, touching him and everything like that. But yeah, this whole thing basically just consists of him calling people dickbags and rape apologists. I mean, I don't know, man. I guess standing by the ideologies of innocent until proven guilty, the burden of proof, and the presumption of innocence, yep, that just means I'm a rape apologist, right? Great argument, man. You're definitely proving your point. You're definitely showing everyone how mature you are. Yeah, we should all just listen to you, man. The guy who calls people dickbags for disagreeing with him and telling you to prove your statements. I've already said this multiple times, but I don't know what is up with these voice actors and like these Xbox level insults. Like you're calling us virgins and shit like over the internet. I mean, that just shows how insecure you are about yourself if you have to try to insult people based on their real life online. I don't know. This is just a very pathetic situation. Like I genuinely feel bad for this man, Chris Raid or Josh Martin. I, I like feel bad for them because like they disagree with us. That's fine. But they're so immature and hateful that all they want to do is just insult people, call them virgins, say they live in their mom's basement. I mean, it's pathetic, man. Like, you guys just need to grow up. It's genuinely sad, man. Like, I expect this behavior from, like, kids. But you guys are adults. You guys are professional voice actors. But this guy's intention is literally just to start drama with people. Like, he literally wants to fight with people. Look at the tone. Look at the way he's writing his tweets. He just wants to argue. I would suggest that you guys just ignore him because you're not going to have a productive conversation with someone as immature as this guy. But yeah, guys, this will be my last video for like a week. I'm going on vacation tomorrow and I'll be back next Friday. I tweeted about this and wrote a community post about it. I'll still be uploading on my gaming channel though, so be sure to check that out. The link will be at the top left of my outro. Let me know what your thoughts are on this situation. See you guys later.